Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Steph Sherry and today's video is a part one of a full house spring cleaning series. So this one will be my master bedroom and my master closet and both spaces definitely needed to be taken care of. I'm hoping that this video provides you some motivation to move some furniture around or pull out those step stools and ladders and climb up into those spaces that you cannot reach and just take care of those spots that you wouldn't normally take care of on a weekly or monthly basis. So I'm going to start in my closet first. I actually redid this closet several months ago and I clearly did not keep this up. So I am going to try this again and we're gonna throw out a bunch of stuff. And when I say throw out, I mean I'm actually gonna donate everything. Um, but I am going to try to cut everything down by 50% in my closet, which is very, very challenging for me. The pile that I'm throwing off to the far left is sweaters that I'm going to give to my daughter. She loves oversized sweaters with leggings and those are sweaters that I know I'm not going to grab anymore. So I'm going to give them to her first before I donate them and let her go through them. But right now she's at school while I was filming this. So those are just going to be folded and taken to her room. I am so proud of what I was able to finally let go of. I don't know why it is so, so hard to let go of things that I know for sure I'm never going to grab. But for some reason in my mind, I keep telling myself that I might need it and it just sits there year after year. So those things are leaving today and we are going to try to make this space work in a way that I can actually keep it up. Today's video is also in collab with Rachel with Living Through the Chaos, and I will link her channel down below in my description box. Rachel is a homeschooling mom of three, and she is also a former baker, which I think is just so cool. On her channel, she does lots of cleaning, DIYs, projects, some homeschooling stuff, cooking, baking, grocery hauls. You can find anything and everything over there. And so I think that's just so much fun. She's new to YouTube, and so she would definitely love your love and support. So definitely go check out her channel after you're done watching this one and tell her I sent you and just say hi and definitely subscribe to her channel as well. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight when I'm making over a smaller space, I find that the most challenging part is actually clearing it out. So that closet I know is much bigger than some people's closets and I'm definitely grateful for it. The only issue I have with it is it's just a really strange shape. So the door to the closet actually doesn't open all of the way because there is a shelf on the top and it actually stops the door from opening all the way. So it makes it really difficult to get in and out. And when I open that door, it hits that top shelf and then it kind of bounces closed. So getting everything out of here is a challenge. Also, please don't laugh at me. I'm trying to get these weights down on this bottom shelf and they were really heavy and I was sure that I was gonna drop one on myself, so I was really, really nervous. But either way, like I was saying, I'm so grateful for this space, but I just wish that it was one shape, like a rectangle or a square, because right now as it is, there is so many barriers in here, and so it makes it hard where you're able to walk right in. In another area like that one right there, you kind of have to walk sideways to get to what you need. It's just such a strange shape. So we're gonna work with what we have, and um, but honestly, it was all fine other than having to pull everything out. I just wanted to stop real quick and say that I know that a spring clean can be a little intimidating or just something you, that you just 
definitely don't have time for, which I get. I don't always have time for this, and I actually pushed this series back several weeks, but it's just something that I think a lot of other people say just needs to be done or it's just something you have to do and that always bugs me just a little bit just because I think that everyone's situation is different Um, and I don't think that you it just has to be done or it's something you have to do I think everyone um, life looks a little different you may not have two dogs that shed or four kids or four teenagers at that Um, or you may have a smaller space. And so what needs to be done in your house looks different from what needs to be done in my house. And so I think that we can watch these YouTube channels sometimes and feel like um, if, if it's just not getting done, then you're not doing enough. And I don't think you should ever compare your schedule or your time or your space to anyone else. And so I'm just here to motivate you if Um, And if I'm able to do that, then that's awesome. Um, And you may not need to clean the same spaces that I need to clean, but hopefully you still enjoy watching my channel and listening to me chat with you guys. And I love getting to know you guys in the comments. So definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know, are you starting your spring cleaning? Um, Do you have any plans to do it at all? And um, which rooms are you looking forward to tackling first? I'd rather be than with you Oh no, oh no I can't believe you love me Oh no, oh no I just feel so lucky Okay, so the blankets I'm keeping, I am going to keep in the back of my closet because my husband's family is staying with us next week. So we're going to need every single bit of that. Um, But I also don't really have another spot for it. I don't want to put anything in the attic or the shed. I just feel like that would be buying some trouble. So I am going to put them over here 
as neatly as I can. We don't really use that backspace anyways. And I only pushed his shirts back as far as I could just so I could um, get everything off that shelf. Um, I missed some trash right there. But this is clear and I ended up moving my dresses, my sweaters, and short sleeve shirts up. I will see how long I can get away with that um, because I want to try to use this space for more storage. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to start putting stuff back in here. Um, but it is definitely <laughs> a wreck out here. Um, and then I'm undecided on the pillows because I know I can buy covers and just use those as kind of inserts. Um, I don't know. This is my Goodwill pile that will go with it as well as those two really full trash bags. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of stuff I was able to get rid of. Shoes go in a completely different spot in our house, so I'll put those away. Um, so, either way, I'm going to start putting this stuff up. If you watch my channel pretty consistently, you know that I've done this closet before, and obviously that did not work out. And I can't promise this will either, but we're sure going to try. So um, when I first did this whole closet makeover, I had put those on the top, and someone was super nervous, and I was too, I have no idea why I put them way up high because the black ones are so, so heavy. Those are my husband's. And then this is my Cricut, this is my heat press, and then these are like miscellaneous. This is hats and all of our candles. Um, and then I decided to take all of our medicine out of this three drawer system that I'll show you and just put them in there. That's our first aid kit with our humidifier. Um, but this just made more sense. It's up high, which I'm not super worried about. My kids are older, and so I'm not worried about them digging into medicine and getting into anything that would hurt them. Um, and then, like I said before, I combined everything. And we'll see if this works. I do still have a load of laundry to fold. and um, But this is the stuff that I can say with confidence that I will grab. Um, but I threw away a ton of stuff, so... It's a lot of progress. Um, up there are just some baskets. There's absolutely nothing in those, but we just I'm just hanging on to them because I like them. 
now I brought some shoes back in here. We were keeping them in my husband's office closet and all of his shoes are in there and several of mine are still in there, but these are the ones that I grabbed the most. Um, there's a few missing. I'm wearing one pair <laughs> and then there's a couple of like booties that I want to bring in here. So um, I just figured it would be easier when I'm like on the go during the day and he might be on like a conference call. It's just really difficult to get to that stuff sometimes. And then um, all of these bed in a bag bags are full of blankets that we want to keep. And they're going to stay in here for now because, like I said earlier, my husband's family is coming over next week. Um, we are all going to a concert um, near, closer to our house, and they are all going to stay at our house that night. Um, so I'm going to need all of these pillowcases, sheets, and blankets and stuff for them. And then this is the thing I was talking about. This is where our medicine used to be. And so now I have it where our light bulbs are on the top drawer dog stuff is in the middle drawer and then like extra beauty products um just hair stuff is on the bottom um, and then we have our ironing board here and then these two baskets used to be for plants um, but they started to stain I think I officially got the stain out but these are empty just a basket of baskets um, but I don't want to get rid of these because I really like them and I'm gonna try to just figure that out um so there we go. There's my husband's, his main shirts, my main shirts, and then we went through everything in the drawers and hopefully we have reduced some of this mess so that we can actually maintain it going forward. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Have been in this house for several years and I have never gone through our dresser drawers and so um, I d was surprised that that bottom shelf where all of my leggings are I didn't really get rid of anything other than a couple of pair of pajama pants but this drawer right here y'all every single pair was inside out like why am I like this so I changed all of that and I'm going to try to make a bigger effort going forward when I'm putting my laundry away to actually put my jeans right side out. Um, so the way I worked my jeans is I did get rid of about three pair, but I have three different sizes of jeans. So the first pile I'm making to the far left is the ones that are my right now jeans. The ones in the middle kind of fit me but not in the way that I would really want them to they're a little tight and then the ones on the far right are my gold jeans um, and three of those pairs of jeans I recently bought brand new specifically for them to be my gold jeans so that's just the way those three piles work and that's what will work for me um, but I obviously have so many jeans it's kind of just my signature style is I wear jeans and a plain t-shirt it's always been my look and um, so that that drawer is starting to get definitely overfilled and I honestly could not think of a single one to get rid of at all so that was not very much progress. Now on my husband's side, I'm going to make the bottom drawer his jeans and his khakis, and then the middle drawer will be like sweatpants and basketball shorts. Um, the reason we don't hang our jeans in our closet is kind of obvious from what you could see is we don't have the space. So we are gonna utilize these drawers as the best way that we can just based on what room that we have. And we didn't always have these dressers. We actually shared one tiny dresser for a very, very long time. And so having these individual dressers has been amazing. This drawer right here are all of his um, undershirts and he does wear every single one of them. So I'm gonna try to organize this in a better way because they used to fit just in that little blue basket. But over time we've purchased more and they just they don't fit but we keep just piling them in there like that and then also on the right side of this drawer is where i put like his golf shorts and just like nicer khaki shorts
Moving over to my room, I was so eager to get this done. I don't like when this space is messy and it was definitely cluttered and messy and dusty and really, really needed to be taken care of. I tackle every single inch of this room except for the wall right behind my bed. This bed is really, really heavy and I can't move it without kind of taking it apart. So that spot did not get touched, but I did vacuum all the way under and you'll see my vacuum. I have a shark multiflex. And so it is actually able, if you hit a button, it will bend backwards, kind of like a flamingo leg and it will get all the way under your furniture, which I absolutely love, love, love this vacuum cleaner. I highly, highly recommend it. And I will link this vacuum cleaner in my description box. I got it at Walmart. It was pretty affordable. Now I can't rem I think maybe like right under $200, but this thing is amazing. Um, if I could just for the life of me remember to charge the battery, sometimes I would be in great shape, but I definitely love this vacuum cleaner. Also cleaning my fan blades. I don't do this as often as I should. We have our fan on probably 95% of the time, but when it is off, the dust that collects on the edges is the worst eyesore. So I'm going to take care of that today and I should probably make a note to actually start taking care of this once a month. We are in Texas and it's hot here most of the year. So we are constantly using our fans and they just get really, really dusty. Cannot believe that what we had is now gone and I don't know how to be alone. Feels like my heart is cut in half. What I want is to get back where Cause we don't talk that much and we don't share a lie, even though there's nothing in it after lately. Maybe you will get there. To clean the inside of my windowsills, I'm using this Gain Power Blast. It is very, very similar to the Dawn dish sprayer, but this one smells so, so good. So I'm actually going to spray this inside of my windowsill. You'll, you can see how horribly disgusting it is in there. We've had all kinds of weather around here. It has been humid. It's been rainy. It's been chilly. And so everything is just kind of collecting right there in the windowsill. And then I am using the magic eraser to clean it out, but that wasn't doing the best job. So I actually went in with a paintbrush and it's very, very tiny, but I actually got this idea from one of my very favorite YouTubers, Jessie Christine. She uses a paintbrush to get into those little spots that you really can't reach. And I need to go grab a bigger size, but it worked so great. I think it would work even better if it was just a little bit bigger and the bristles were stronger, but all you have to do is just spray that little power sprayer in there and then just scrub in all of those like little creases and really tiny spots and it will pull up that dirt and what almost comes to like mud. It'll pull that up really, really well and then you just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and it was just so much easier than having to keep going in and scrubbing it with a sponge that just always doesn't fit into all of those really, really tight spots. No. Cause I've been thinking about you Even though we disagree on most things, baby Maybe we'll get there 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 You had your reasons in my soul
My two oldest boys, Ryan and Justin, are pulling this recliner out of here and taking it to my husband's office. I used this last summer for a surgery recovery, and it was the most comfortable chair. I had to actually sleep in that for almost eight weeks, and I dreaded it, but that thing was absolutely comfortable, but it takes up a ton of space, and I've also noticed that if I have a clean load of laundry and that I don't want to take care of, the stuff ends up getting thrown on that chair at night, and I would really like to take that temptation away. So we're pulling that chair out, and I love that the space opened up so much more. It just looks so much nicer. This is my shark that I was talking about earlier. So there's just a little button on the front that will make it bend backwards and then you can push it under most furniture. And I love that I can get under these tight spots like my bed that I would never be able to get under with like a normal large size like plug-in Dyson or um, my other shark vacuum. Um, but it makes it so nice to just be able to maneuver that thing anywhere and everywhere I need it to go. It'll be all right. All your life. Now I'm going to go around my room and do baseboards and dust all of my furniture and all of the furniture that I am physically able to move. I am going to move it out of the way so I can clean baseboards behind them as well as cleaning up any dust underneath. Uh, we have two large yellow labs and they shed like crazy. And so we have dog hair all over the place and then just regular dust from, you know, just living. I dust our furniture pretty often, but I don't move things around. So um, I just wanted to get into these spots and do a deeper clean. I know that this takes longer to do, and so it might be intimidating because you may not have the time or you just don't want to, and I get that. Trust me, I get that. But every once in a while, I try to make a point to do a longer, deeper clean um, just to take care of our house and our things and also just overall our health and just um, just feel like a sense of everything is clean. It feels so much better. To be a good man inside 
Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good
this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you My bedding is done in the dryer and so I just wanted to hang up the last little bit of this laundry and clear off this bed so I can start putting that back together. Give me all your love, give me all your love. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile? Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine But I can tell that you have something on your mind right now But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about 
about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good, the good vibes We are all about the good, the good times Dance until it feels alright, all night We're all about the good vibes, all about the good vibes I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade my comforter can't go into the dryer. It kind of messes up the cotton on the inside. So I have to air dry it. So I won't show putting that back on, but it does go on later in the evening. Um, I just didn't get that at this moment, but I just wanted to put the bed back together so that the room looked complete. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard that's your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good I almost made it through this entire video with my cordless shark but it just died there so that's okay I just went and grabbed my other corded vacuum cleaner it's big and bulky but it does a great job and I am going to finish up the rest of this rug if you have made it this far in this really long video, thank you so much. Y'all are so awesome. Leave me a flamingo emoji down in the comments to just let me know that you are here. And then also next week for my spring cleaning series, I will be in my kitchen, laundry room, and pantry. So definitely look out for that and stick around here in just a second for some before and after shots. The good vibes. We are all about the good, the good times. Until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes I'm going to spray this magnolia linen from Scentsy all over my bed. This stuff smells so, so fresh and clean. I love it. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye. We just sing along, and I can't help but feel it. Just love it.